We're going to turn now to those images coming in from Louisiana tonight. A train colliding with a truck, 2,000 collisions a year on the tracks. And tonight here, ABC's Deborah Roberts discovers something with those tracks and perhaps the signs. Can you actually see? A jaw-dropping moment in rural Louisiana. A Union Pacific Railroad freight train plowing into an 18-wheeler caught on the tracks. The driver oh scrambling God. to safety seconds before. This video oh captured gosh. by a couple just yards away. Oh gosh, look at that smoke. The train conductor and engineer were injured, but amazingly, no one died. Police tell ABC News the railroad signals appear to be working. It's a scene that plays out across the country all too often. Oh. Last year, there were roughly 2,000 train vehicle collisions, resulting in close to 250 deaths and nearly 1,000 injuries. Some because of drivers taking risks, like this one in Houston. And this in Florida, where the driver barely escapes. The engineer tries his best to stop, but it can take up to a mile for a speeding train to screech to a halt. In many cases, the driver is not to blame. Only 35% of rail crossings have flashing lights and gates. Denny and Vicki Moore's 17-year-old son Ryan was killed at this crossing in Ohio. And as you can see, you've got all this vegetation, all these trees blocking a driver's view. And you're not required to stop. Right. at this crossing. The only time because it only says yield. And our contention has always been how can you yield to something that you can't see? How These accidents are a frightening reminder to all of us that you have to be vigilant because one expert told us that a train hitting a car is like a car hitting a soda can. David experts say you have to approach every train crossing as if there could be a speeding train but coming. She, she brings up a great question. How can you yield if you can't see it That's coming? That's exactly right. Deborah, thank you.